Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina in Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the North Carolina Tar Heels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Tar Heels will kick it off to get us underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Pittsburgh's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes the quarterback. And one thing you know for sure, with this team, as he goes, so goes the offense. And he's a big-time talent, Reese. This guy can hurt you in a multitude of ways, throwing and running the football. He's going to have to be dialed in, though, because this defense is going to give him a lot of different looks. It's really important mentally this QB is on his game. To the air, it's Holstein. Coming after him. And he was drilled. Just released the pass. It's incomplete. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Balls at the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. You know, when you go down personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. You're expecting to at least have a little bit more time, but your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. Pitt will have to boot this one away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll take it on the return. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Line gets set, first down. Hold and fire complete. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. Leaves it with the running back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And the Tar Heels will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Using his legs, it's Carter. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught. It's Johnson. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pick up, and they have a first down. And the Panthers come to the line in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll try the right side. Across the 25, he's got room. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And that's good enough for a first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. I don't know why, but 
but it's a thing. The ACC Wheel of Destiny, you spin it, you never know how it's going to come up, and you can't afford to give away a game early in a conference like this. And I think both of these coaching staffs, David, understand that. They've been preaching to their team, we've got to start fast. Not just in this game. We've got to start the season fast. We've got to take advantage of this opportunity. And I think we, and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone, and you're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. He got it. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Might as well stick with him. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. Running back goes in motion. Johnson wants to throw it. He looks that one in nicely. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. The Tar Heels getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Finds his tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Fires to the big fella. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And the Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. Quarterback on the keeper. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. They're going to test the right side with this one. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. Gives it to the back on the draw. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Running with power. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. Grab behind the line. It's Hampton. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. A loss of seven yards on the play. Now a fourth down. Number 96. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Pittsburgh has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The Tar Heels will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they'll keep it away from the return man as the punt goes out of bounds. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. 
Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your play. Got a man. It's Lee. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Third down coming up after the completion. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Ran through the tackle and he's got room to run. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Lost one on that last one, it's second and 11. Looking for a man, it's Holstein. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. Feeling some heat. And they got him for the sack. And that's what I like most about this defense. When you try to take shots and make big plays, they get to the quarterback. They get him on the ground. Their third sack of the day. And this is a unit that... And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. That is not an easy situation if you're an offensive lineman, second and third and one, because you know the D-line, they're coming. They know you're throwing the football. As an O-lineman, you better get out of your stance and get your hands up and punch and not miss, because if you do, then that's what happens right there. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. Pitt will line up to punt it away. A high kick trying to pin them deep. He's got great speed. And the returner will be dragged down. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels. So pleased to send the offense back out. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And, honestly, and the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now facing a third and long. Johnson looking to throw. They're bringing heat. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chain. Motion from the offense. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flat. Single back formation, and they give it to him. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Hampton. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. It's good. And after the three-spot guys were all tied up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. 
The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll rip off eight on that play in second and two. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Dropping back, it's Holstein. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he'll be brought down. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Pitt will have to boot this one away. Trying to play a little field position with that high, high punt. And the punt will be marked dead just inside the 45-yard line. They'll open this drive and snap it from the 44. Trying to find his man on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. Here's the handoff. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. They're trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And the Tar Heels line up to punt it away. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. How about that pass rush coming up with a third down sack and forcing the punt? Makes a move. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. They'll throw it on first down. Fires downfield. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Back to throw, it's Holstein. Buying some time. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Extending the play. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's, sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. Pitt will line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. Coming after it. Finds his big tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Getting some heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. And it's on the ground. Now oh, look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. And the offense keeps it. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Johnson wants to throw it. Trying to get to it. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got it on the outside. It's Jones. 
That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Chapel Hill. What a fine performance we've seen. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about. But I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made it share big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Keenan Memorial Stadium. Pitt will try to boot this thing deep to start the second half. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The RPO, it's complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Uh, if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. The Pitt offense back on the field and ready to roll. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, then something can start to build. Looking for a crease. It's Reed. They make the stop. Give him three yards on the carry. Balls at the 24. Got three on first down in second and seven. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. Now on second down. Looking to throw, it's Holstein. A shot toward the end zone. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for him. I got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Pitt will have to boot this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great... That ball was just lying there forever in the end zone, and the defense finally pounced on it. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up, take it all the way back to the house for six. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. 
Penn State is currently trailing in this one, but there are more people in Beaver Stadium today than most American cities. The crowd alone can help turn this game. They're trailing by just two to UCLA. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They'll leave it with him. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Johnson looking to throw. They're bringing heat. It's on target and complete. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Uncorks it. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. The Tar Heels had this offense rolling. On the run, it's Hampton. Discards a man. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves the change for the first down. The give out of the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Wrestle down at the 26, it's a gain of four. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. They'll send out the kicker here. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Pittsburgh, 10. North Carolina, 3. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. He couldn't connect on that 54-yard field goal attempt, and now they'll have it first and 10 from the 37. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Scanning the field, it's Holstein. Firing to the right, complete. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Fresh set of downs after the completion. To the air on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Let's see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 48. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Reynolds. Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Third down coming. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. He had nowhere to go with the football. You could tell, surveying the field, somebody's got to get open to go make a play. Man, throw it up. Run it. Do something. You can't take a sack on fourth down. you got to give somebody an opportunity to make a play for him. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. He's right on target. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. 
He's looking to throw it. Got it behind the line. It's Hampton. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Pittsburgh has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Let's see what they've got on second down. They're going to throw it again. They're trying to get to him. Makes the catch. It's Hampton. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Quickly complete. Just what they would hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. And the Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the ground game. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll run play action. Caught in the backfield, it's Barlow. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Pushes ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, UNC! You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field and they found a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. You're not Back to pass, it's Holstein. He hurls one deep down the left side. And the ball is caught, he's inside the 35. Hit right back to the line. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. An excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Fast motion from the offense. They're going to ride this running back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. The pull and throw off the RPO. Touchdown, Pitt! They move on top here on the fourth. Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs>
I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. 17, North Carolina, 10. And he's going to try to return this one. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Makes a connection. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll test the right side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. Trying play action. Let's it fly on the move. Got it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. All right, you gave up the big play defense. I know they got a big chunk, but they didn't get in the end zone. You live to fight another day. Now you got to bow your necks up and make this stop inside the five. A first down run on the doorstep. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tar Heel. Up and over, Yamo be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Sam Houston may not be leaving town with a blowout victory, but they'll take a dub away from Huntsville every time. The Bearcats have been racking up road wins since the Ron Randleman days, and they get another one today. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Looking for a man. It's Holstein. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away. Incomplete. The Panthers will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. It's caught downfield. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two minute warning. 
The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. On second and goal, they go right back to it. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Touchdown, North Carolina! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. They'll try to tack on an extra point here deep in the game. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Just about set to kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Wants to throw on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. But a little time lets it go. Quick completion on the out route. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got a first down. They're in plus territory, and they've got a chance to win the game. He wants to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Reynolds. They get him down after he makes the catch. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking to throw on second down. He's going to let it go. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Moving away from pressure. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Third and goal coming up here. Back to throw. It's Holstein. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. And this could prove to be the biggest play of the game. They'll go for it on fourth and goal. Snap in the shotgun. Throws for the end zone. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly, this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well, let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.